welcome to another episode of Rostrum Roundup. We've had another really busy week with a little under 2,000 items here to be catalogued for tomorrow's sale and Friday's sale. So uh, let's get into it. Adam, what have you brought to our attention this week? Okay, I'm going to start with a taxidermy duck here. Um, now, I know taxidermy is not everyone's cup of tea, but as far as an item is, it's a beautiful thing. Um, it's just, I think it's a little Australian brown duck. It's very well made. I don't think it's a great deal of age, but you can just see it sitting on maybe a bar room somewhere, sit around smoking a cigar, maybe a cognac. Um, good little decorator's piece, my estimate, two to three hundred. Peter, what do you think? Um, yeah, we had one actually just recently, but a little bit more aerodynamic looking. It's it's getting, uh, yes, <laughs> getting ready to take off <laughs> and same estimate. And what have you got this week? I've gone for my traditional area, my, my pet oh, area yeah. of porcelain, an 18th century bow porcelain dish, which you don't unfortunately see very much no. of these days. You heard of bow before? No. <laughs> a, a very short-lived factory, but English. still had a fairly English factory, uh, still had a fairly major impact. Sandwich dish, right? Uh, whatever you want to use for. Uh, and how much? Uh, I've put an estimate of about five to six hundred on it. You're kidding, right? I'm in the wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers That's crossed. That's for me as well. <laughs> okay, well thank you Peter. Now I've got something a bit different now. We do have a big wine sale this week. We've got over 300 lots of wine, spirits, We're just in time for Christmas. Well, I've got a very interesting lot here, the Louis 13 Remy Martin. Now um, this is obviously a cognac. But have a look at the packaging on this. Ooh. Isn't that disgusting? The future is <laughs> <laughs> So um, here in this rather gaudy packaging, you have the bottle there. That's a Baccarat crystal decanter there. So that's probably worth a looking the wrong way. I was going to say two to three hundred dollars on its own, but uh, comes with its own little stopper up here for when you crack the uh, original seal. But it's a nice little gift for someone who really, really love it. Two to three grand. So that's the estimate. These are our Christmas bonuses. That's what I'm. You've had. We had the Christmas party last week. That's your bonus. There's a few of them over there. <laughs> so that's that one. Uh, what have you got next? Next is this lovely little stylized toy rocking horse. Yes. Um, I think it's probably 1930s. Um, there's no uh, manufacturer's make on it. It could be. It could be. Um, grandpa made it for a grandchild. I mean, it, it is quite... It doesn't look like a mass production. No, it is quite crude with the, with the joints and stuff. There's some heavy um, bolts and stuff in the bottom. It's original horsehair. Um, the eyes have been replaced at some stage, yeah. but as a decorator's piece, two to three hundred every day of the week. Bit of bush carpentry, hey? Yeah, I think it is. It's, it's really nice thing. So that's the rocking horse. Um, so come on, Peter, try and top that. I, I think I can. I've got something more practical. I've got a late Art Deco cocktail cabinet in burr walnut and maple. And the best part is once you open it up, all beautifully chromed, uh, mirrored interior mm. and uh, with some velvet edging as well. I've noticed they're uh, becoming a bit more popular, aren't they, the old cocktail cabinets? Yeah, even the fall front ones. They're coming back. And I think the, the thing with the Art Deco period of furniture is the outside was quite dull and quite um, boxed and quite standard, but then when you open it up, that's, oh, yeah. that's when the party starts. Thank you, Peter. Well, I've got something interesting. It's an old mailbox from the post office, so a post office mailbox. It's one of those ones that would have been uh, in the brick wall at the front of the post office, so the, the employees of post office put the letters in from behind and you have your own designated key open it up from the front and I do believe we've got the keys for all of these It's well. all keyed up. Yep. All keyed all up. All the original keys. So there's 21 different boxes. Now I've had an idea for this. Wine storage. I was just about to say the exact same thing. So I'm all about repurposing. I love repurposing items. I think this is a great thing for you, your son or your daughter for their 21st birthday. I think it's, I think it's 21 great. units. Yeah. I think it's um, great, yeah. So put a locker bottle away each time uh, and give them the keys when they're 21. The, the last one, 21's a bit big. Maybe put a six pack in there for the last one. Or put a cask. A cask. <laughs> uh, money? Um, oh, three to four hundred? Cheap enough. Cheap enough. Okay, glad you agree. It's over to you, Adam. I've got for the last one is the, the early dome top trunk. Now, this is an early travelling trunk. Um, lovely fitted interior. It's got the lift out tray. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting to me to this one because it does have casters. So to me, it says this was from the first class 
or from um, someone with a bit of money because they don't have to lug it around, around and drag it and uh, yeah, right. they get the luxury of having the actual casters. Mm. Um, I think the dome top's really good. Um, I've been told it is to prevent pooling of water on top. So if it is outside when you're traveling, the water will, um, will, will um, sort of run off. And um, I think it's one of the best things in the room this week. 300. Okay. okay. Three. 300. And that'd be cheap. I think four to six. There you go. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so my last item will be the bass drum. And it's a lovely decorative drum as well. It's probably been used in a marching band or a Scottish pipe band of sorts. But um, repurposing once again, guess what I'm thinking? A lamp? No, I hate to think. <laughs> <laughs> You're both wrong. A coffee table. Okay, so oh, we just yes. need to find a, a nice big uh, piece of round glass to put on, on top. It's the right height and all. Well, this is the whole thing about the auction game is repurposing, isn't it? Oh, it is at the moment, which is great. It's all part of the green thing, the recycling, etc. It all fits in well. And speaking of repurposing, have you seen the snare drum this week converted to a pot plant? Yeah. With the, nice. with the symbol still attached? It's fantastic. We have some incredibly talented vendors here at Lawson's <laughs> and he keeps coming back. He sold some geraniums in an old mannequin foot last week. Mm -hmm. $170. Beautiful. Hey? Good money. We're in the wrong game. <laughs> I've got something that goes well with drums. It's actually a flag. Sorry, Adam, if you can give me a hand. And it's a Union Jack by the Gear Company of Melbourne. And um, from what I could find is their specialty was actually furniture, outdoor furniture, which had canvas coverings. And they were active roughly from the late 20s and right through the 30s. So we can put a, an approximate date on this flag. Okay, so we've been talking about repurposing all day today. Big question is, what are you going to use this for? I think it's a... How are you going to repurpose it? Well, I think it's a great wall covering. I'm going to say a duna cover. What do you think? Maybe after a wash or two. I'm not staying at your house. <laughs> and you probably never will. <laughs> um, <laughs> but a duna cover, it looks like it's only a small duna, doesn't it? That'd suit you, Pete. You ain't... <laughs> a very long single. Yeah. <laughs> What's it worth? <laughs> About two to three hundred. <laughs> right, uh, too much. Uh, as we've been filming this, it's actually 43 degrees in our shed here at Lawson's, but it hasn't stopped us consigning uh, just shy of 2,000 lots. Again, the catalogue's online uh, for this Thursday and this Friday here in the rooms at Leichhardt Lawson's. And remember, we've got the wine and spirit sale this week, just in time for Christmas. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic and safe Christmas. See you next year.